Today I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way to create AI effects for your music videos in 2024. This method is honestly the best way to get crazy looking effects and it's super simple to do. So starting off inside of Premiere Pro here, we have a music video pulled up and let's just say this is your music video that you're editing. So any part of the video that you want to have AI effects on, all you would have to do is this clip for example, is you'd hit I on your keyboard to make an endpoint as you guys can see here. And then you'd go to, let's say you want it to end right here. You'd go one frame before that. That's super important and hit O. And you guys could see it lines up super perfect. And this part of your video is now selected. Now, if you hit Command M inside of Premiere Pro, it'll actually open up that point and you, it allows you just to render that clip. You want to make sure on your range here, it says source in and out. If you have it for your entire source, it'll just render your entire timeline. Make sure you have it set to source in and out here, just like so. So just name that whatever you want. I'm going to call it one and then just go ahead and hit export now. And wherever you exported that onto your computer, keep that in mind because we're going to open up our web browser and we're going to go to this website called Runway. Now, Runway is free to sign up with and it's super simple to use. You guys can see we have a bunch of different options here. You guys can see we have text slash image to video and then we also have video to video. I'm going to click on the video to video option and we're going to click to upload our file here. Now, going into where I saved it, I'm just going to open it up and hit open. Now, it'll take a couple of seconds to load it up properly. All right, so we can see our video is now uploaded. It's just loading. I'm not in a mood on my flight there. We have everything lined up perfectly here. Now, this is where it gets interesting. There's going to be a couple of presets in here if you click this tab. There's Android, Balloon Face, Claymation, and a bunch of other stuff built inside of here. But if you want to give it a text prompt as well, you can describe the way you want the AI to be designed. So let's say we do a cartoon or anything like that. It'll make it like a cartoon and you could be super descriptive as well. Or as well, if you have a reference image you want it to kind of convert into and copy the style of, you can then upload an image here. What I recommend doing is going inside of settings as well and hitting the advanced option here. You can mess with the structural consistency, the style and the frame consistency. I recommend doing a couple different versions of the one you want and just playing with all of these until you get it as accurate as you want. So I'm going to go up into the text prompt and I'm going to make it say uh, cartoon animation 1930s and we're going to hit generate. Now, since I'm using the free version, you guys can see I only have 15 seconds of animation left. You guys can upgrade and pay, but this is more than enough for me. And it also is going to take a little bit as well. So sit back, relax, and just chill. All right, so this is what we've gotten in return. I'm not in a mood on my flight there. Kind of a crazy animation. I don't know what they were going for here, but now if it's a little bit too much for you, what I recommend doing is redoing it and turning down the structural consistency and then the style turn it down to like 1.5 and then just hitting regenerate here and it's pretty much going to take everything that was a little bit too intense like the animation in my opinion and make it less all right so this is going to give us on the re-edited settings i'm not in a mood on my flight there a little bit less crazy i just don't think the 1930 styles is it to be honest with you guys i feel like if you added a lot of grain and maybe some black and white to it look cool we're going to go ahead and put something else in the text prompt let's do uh evil scary glowing outline and let's turn everything down here. We'll make it like at least one, 1 1.1. And then we'll turn the frame consistency all the way up. And let's hit generate. All right, so this is what we got now from the very last one. I'm not in a mood on my flight there. I think that's a lot cooler. If we go ahead and add some grain and stuff like inside of Premiere Pro, I think it'll look sick. So honestly, my biggest tip is just to really mess around and try out a bunch of different options. Now that we have this inside of Premiere Pro here, I'm going to scale it up. I'm not in a my flight there looks really scary so we're gonna go inside of effects here and i'm gonna put on some grain go and throw some noise on here turn it up you guys can see instantly that adds a lot more of a cooler look to it and then if you have rsmb as well i recommend throwing that on but well, i put it on the way so it doesn't mess with the grain which i think it is right now yeah you want to put the grain below it and then if you're inside of after effects i recommend throwing on deep glow i think this looks super fire guys honestly it just takes some messing around with and I'm on my flight there. i think it's a super cool effect especially if you mess around and get some certain styles and then repeat it throughout the music video anyways if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'm only uploading daily two more times this month and then we're going to go back to a regular three day a week upload schedule anyways guys i'll see you tomorrow peace